Today we're looking at the second generation 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 EcoBoost on the Fords. Specifically we have an F-150 today. Start by removing the two engine cover nuts with a 10 millimeter socket. We're going to be connecting to two sensors. The first one is going to be your boost pressure sensor located right here. And the second would be your intake manifold pressure sensor located right here. For the 3.5 Ford EcoBoost, we're going to be connecting A to the turbo boost pressure sensor. And we're going to be connecting wire harness B over onto the intake manifold pressure sensor. First, we're gonna move the connection A for the wire harness, which will be the boost pressure sensor. There's a push tab here in the back. Go ahead and push that down and simply pull back. We're gonna go ahead and connect the female side first. Make sure we're going towards this side of the terminal, not the flat side. Next, connect the male end of the harness onto the plug and push the gray tab until it snaps. Next, we're gonna remove the intake manifold pressure sensor. Pull the white tab until it clicks. Go ahead and pull straight back, pressing down on the back. Next, we'll take B from the wire harness, starting with the female end. Go ahead and plug that in until it snaps. Press the white tab down. Then we'll take the male end, going right back to the same sensor and pushing it on. Pushing the gray tab until it snaps. Now this is just one example of how you can route it. Make sure that all zip ties are not too tight and not pinching off any fluids or electrical connections. And make sure that the electrical cable is not touching anything hot. Make sure when routing the cable to avoid any moisture, debris, or moving parts. This is one place that you can mount the race chip over here in the corner on top of the fuse box. But of course you can mount it anywhere within the engine bay using the included zip ties.